Hello, uh, welcome to a kind of little mini special spin-off-y episode of Alien Audio. It's kind of a bit of a, a YouTube special, this one, because today I've been somewhere really special, uh, really enjoyed it as well. Uh, so the Pete McKee exhibition in Sheffield, he's done a few exhibitions in the past. Uh, just to let you know, Pete McKee is a Sheffield artist, Um so as well as that, um, listeners of the podcast may have heard me say in the past that he's also um, a member of the Everly Pregnant Brothers. Uh, he's a he's a he's a big Sheffield guy, really is. Um, but he's an, a Sheffield artist, and he does this sort of like pop culture sort of art. And you'll have seen it around before um, if you've ever visited Sheffield. I know a lot of our sheddies who have been on the uh, Sheffield Beer Bar Crawl um, a couple of times will have seen some of his artwork, uh, in particular. Um, one down at the Kelm Island area, and um, there's a dog um, with its nose, with its uh, sort of snout in a bottle, of, in a sorry, in a, a pack of hobnobs. So people might have seen that one before. And then there's another one called the Snog, um, which is on the side of Fagan's um, pub in Sheffield. And you'll know that. Well, basically, this exhibition is based on those two characters in that bit of artwork called the Snog. Um, Frank and Joy. Uh, so I went along today, it was at the Trafalgar Warehouse, um, which is a venue in Sheffield. They've hosted like the Sheffield Indie Beer Feast over the last however many years and so on. And I've been to Pete McKay exhibitions before, I love his work, but I just thought this one, it, it was right up my street and certainly um, one for our viewers and our listeners as well, because uh, the Frank and Joy um, exhibition is basic, was basically, they built a sort of pretend pub, an old fashioned sort of pretend pub. Um, that that they were going to sort of set all the artwork in and and sort of tell the story of uh, Frank and Joy and it, it was absolutely brilliant. I had a really good time. I was probably I mean you know I was about there about maybe forty five fifty minutes or so, um, but it was really good. So I'm just going to you know show you a little bit of what what I saw while I was there. Um, so yeah, first of all, um, I'll just pop it on screen here. So you walk into the venue. And I, I want everyone to, you know, if you can still go, go and see. Obviously, it's, these exhibitions aren't up for long. But as you can see, you've walked through into the entrance of this sort of uh, pretend pub there. And, yeah, all the sort of image, you know, the, the Peter McKee artworks are all around the side. And obviously, you've got these, like, pub, sort of traditional pub tables and seats in the middle. You can see the carpet and everything has been just done exactly like an old, sort of, like, old-fashioned, um, proper old traditional style boozer. Um Really good. And at the walk back there, you can see the images of uh, the Pitt McKee drawings of Frank and Joy uh, and, you know, how he sort of imagines them. I'm sure there's possibly more to the story behind Frank and Joy as well. Um, but it was really, really good. I properly enjoyed it. Like I said, it was proper set out like a pub, so it's something I felt like we need to share with our pub shed and home bar uh, and be a lover community, obviously, as well. So just to share with you a few pictures, um, I'll just share these with you. So as you can see here, um, I'll put in full screen. Um, as you're walking in, you get the sort of, you know, McKee little sort of graffiti on the bottom left there, on the, the left-hand side there. And then you'll see sort of graphics, uh, you know, like this. So there's some of the pictures that they've, they've done here, traditional sort of pub scene, really good. And then the sort of, you know, the um, the sort of, again, like the sort of mantle, mantle piece with the, the um, you know, the sort of old traditional tankard mug, sort of pot mugs on them and so on. And your traditional pub grub, really enjoyed seeing that. Um, here's me, uh, so they called it the Buffer's Rest, that's what the pub was called, uh, and that's that's me having a picture just outside it, but the one on the right hand side there is, that is the snog, so that is what the sort of, you know, uh, Frank and Joy um, um, sort of like exhibition is based on that particular image, and that is a small sort of model of Fagan's, uh, so people who would have come to Sheffield before on any of these sort of craft beer bar crawls with all guys in the past, you may have seen that pub before, you may have even de been in there before as well, um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant, um, but if we move on, it wasn't just about the sort of pictures and the uh, you know, the artwork that was in there. They also kind of put together pieces like this as well, see, like old traditional notice boards. Um, it's not on the picture that I've got, but I think one of the notices was a correction to a pub quiz answer. It says, uh, just to note, question six in the pub quiz last week, uh, the answer was Genghis Khan, not Mother Teresa, which made me laugh. Um, but yeah, and then you can, you know, see sort of like old menu board style things as well. Really, really good. And uh, there's Frank and Joy. Uh, I did try the flat cap on myself, but I didn't try the coat on. Um, but that's the sort of you know, bench seating sort of thing, which our pub shed is alike. Um, and yeah, and I had to get pictures of these proper old traditional, uh, you know, like um, 
ashtrays and and some old beer mats and stuff as well. Uh, really like those. Um, but yeah, it, it was just absolutely brilliant, and it, some of it was actually quite emotional as well. Um, so yeah, it was as you walked around the pub. So when you went in, as you walked around from your left, which is what you traditionally sort of do, I kind of sort of kind of just went and went where there was space. But if you walk around it from the left right round to your right and then back round to where the entrance is the the images the, the pictures uh the paintings the artwork tells the story of um of terry uh, sorry frank and joy and terry came from frank and joy it tells the stories and we go around so like when they first met in there and had the first date maybe had the first kiss when they got engaged and you know how they were sort of like regulars in the pub and all that kind of thing and and then it, it kind of gets sad because as you get to the end the last picture um, this is. The, I'm going to give you one spoiler, but I won't give you a proper big spoiler of the actual main bit. I mean, the exhibition might not be on by the time you watch this anyway. But right at the end, um, the last picture, the last bit of artwork is the pub with the sort of like you know for sale, shut down, boarded up sort of thing, which is is really sad because obviously that's what's that's what sadly happened to a lot of old sort of traditional boozers and so on. So it was quite sad. And then from that sort of pub room where you sort of stay for 25 minutes, you were moved then into a sort of seating area where you could sit and watch this um thing that had been put on a stage a bit of a you know some props laid out and then you could hear uh you know the voice of uh of frank talking and i'm not going to sort of say what it said in case anyone wants to go and watch it themselves but it was really quite emotional really that bit uh yeah and then it was i think there was a few people sniffling in the crowd i had a stiff upper lip and all that um but yeah it was it was really really good uh really enjoyed it and the other thing that happened um or that was going on in the in the main sort of exhibition area where uh, they had the pub sort of set up is they had the sort of background pub noise as well people talking and then about halfway through the time in there suddenly there was just a, a the noise of a bloke singing you know, like they used to do in the olden days a bloke just used to belt out a song in middle of, you know mid evening or whatever just used to stand up belt out a song everyone used to sing along and all that kind of thing and yeah it was really really good proper proper enjoyed myself and uh, the other thing, oh, one more thing before I go. The other thing is, uh, as you go in as well, you've got this sort of pub newsletter thing, um, which is, I don't really remember pubs doing newsletters, but I'm guessing they did at one point. Um, so, yeah, the Buffer's Rest newsletter. And this, is, this isn't a complaint, but <laughs> what I do like, right, it's not a complaint, um, is these sort of like fake little advertisements they've put in, sort of like pretend ones. Uh, I think they pretend anyway. Well, this is what I'm going to get onto. So they're kind of scattered about all the way through, and it sort of tells you about the different pieces of art. There's some, there's like poems in there and guidance and things like that. There's, there's some really good stuff in there. I've not properly read it all yet. But I thought, I wonder if I call any of these numbers, are they actually real? Do they go, Well, not real. Do they go to like some sort of recorded voice message thing as part of the experience? So I called one number. Uh, I called the um, the piano tuner first, Terry L. Lewis. That's where I got Terry from earlier. Terry L. Lewis, the piano tuner, called it dead number. So I thought that's probably what I expected, really. Either it was going to go to some sort of pre-recorded clever little message or something. So I thought I'll give another one a try. So I called the, the Cod's Law one, I'm covering the number up, but I called Cod's Law, and it went through to someone. Somebody answered. Um... And they couldn't really hear me that, that well, and I, I panicked and I put the phone down. So it actually went through to someone. I don't think it was supposed to. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, really good, and I'm going to go through this later. And, and I did get myself a souvenir as well. Um, I had to, owning a pub shed, I cannot resist a good beer glass, a good pint glass. So here we've got a cheeky pint. Who doesn't like a cheeky pint? Pete McKee. And if you spin it round, very cheeky indeed. There you go, look. You've got Terry and Joy. Good stuff. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of a rundown of what I did today. Really, really enjoyed it. Absolute hats off to Pete McKee. Flat caps off to Pete McKee. Uh, Pete McKee, if you are watching, um, you are welcome to come and have uh, come and have a, a, an experience here in the Ale and Audio Pub Shed if you want. Um, you, you can have anything you want, even a soft drink, whatever, whatever you like. Um, and yeah, um, obviously uh, Pete McKee of the Everly Pregnant Brothers as well. We like him on the show. We've had Big Sean on the Alien Audio podcast in the past as well. Um, but yeah, great exhibition. Really enjoyed it, and I love my souvenir. Um, you can actually buy the prints as well um, that that were on display, so you can buy you know some prints and get them yourself. Definitely looking into that because uh, I like to kind of freshen up the artwork in here. 
um, quite often. So I'm definitely going to be having a look for a print, especially from this particular exhibition, which was all kind of about this this sort of like journey in this life in a pub. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have a look and, and maybe pick one uh, for in the bar. But once again, really enjoyed it. Go check out Pete McKee's website. Look at all his artwork. Uh, Sheffield does love him. And, you know, I think everybody else outside of Sheffield would as well. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Oh, and check out the Ale and Audio podcast. Might as well tell you that as well. We do loads of Sheffield stuff on it, but lots of beer stuff all around the world as well. Everyone listens to us. So, yeah, give us check us out. Bye-bye. <laughs>